Good morning, Lincoln Lines. I'm Sydney Stewart here to give you the morning announcements. We were wondering if you want to join Airsoft and Paintball Club. If you have no idea what these sports are or you're a pro at them, we would be glad to have you come. These are some really fun sports that could build your sportsmanship and they both help you meet new people and make some new friends. See you guys on Fridays at 1245. Do you like working out and staying in shape? Do you like learning about different and fun ways to get strong or lean or fit? Are you curious about nutrition and what foods you should be putting into your body? Do you want access to the Lone Hill weight room for fun workouts? The time to choose your elective is coming up. And if any of these interest you, you should sign up for fitness. The next culinary club meeting is March 10th from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Don't forget to show up to your club meetings. We want to see you there. Check out the club schedule at bit.ly slash LHMS Club Rush. Make fun a priority again. Attention 8th graders. Summer school registration begins Monday, March 1st at 5 p.m. Visit bit.ly slash SDHS 2021SS411 for more information. If you came to Girls on the Run meeting, signups are going on right now. Please visit the info page on the club page to sign up at gotr.org. Do you want to learn how to take care of your mind? Well, the Wellness Club sounds like a place for you to visit. The link is https slash bit.ly slash LHMS Wellness Club for more information. Attention 7th graders, Mr. Richards is looking for students who are highly motivated, kind, and compassionate to be part of next year's web class. As a web leader, you will be an important part of making Lone Hill a better place through conflict resolution, bringing awareness to mental health issues, and being a role model to all the students. If you're interested in being part of our program next year, there will be a meeting on Thursday, March 11th during lunch at 1245. All 7th graders who are interested are welcome. The link for the Zoom meeting is bit.ly slash webmeeting2021. Looking forward to see you guys all there. The winners of the week, perfect attendance winner, Natalia Guardia, caught on camera, Michael Keefe, and line card winner, Graciela alt Ambres. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Hey guys, this week on Pets and Pals, we want to see your pets so we can feature them on Pets and Pals. Here's an example of what you can do to get your pet on Pets and Pals. Hi, my name is Vivian Hong, and these are my turtles, Melwood and Willow. They like to eat, sleep, and rest on their rock. The link for all of you guys to submit videos is shown right above me. And that's it for today's episode of Pets and Pals. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see all your pets. Hello, Lundhill. Welcome back to the Main World News Edition. This week, we'll be once again discussing COVID-19 and what has happened because of it, and how we will move forward from this point. Now, we can reopen school, elementary schools if cases reach 25 out of 100,000, which has been said by the state. If this does happen, then elementary schools may begin reopening. Though there's been nothing said for middle school yet, we are still waiting on that news or that information. Now, COVID-19 cases in the entirety of the United States have hit 28.3 million, with a record-breaking 503,000 deaths. That's all for this week. See you next week. Good morning, Lions. This is five questions. Question one. What's your name and grade level? Answer. My name is Jordan and I'm in sixth grade. Hi, everybody. My name is Audrey Valderas and I am in the sixth grade. Question two. What's your favorite thing about distance learning? Answer. We get to get out earlier so we can get out. Our assignment's done earlier. My favorite thing about distance learning is that you spend more time with family. Question three. Favorite thing or hobby to do at home? Answer. Play Roblox and go bike riding outside. My favorite hobby to do is to draw and make some TikToks, you know? Question four. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Invisibility because so I can scare people. Um, if I could have any superpower, be invisibility so I could prank family and friends. 
Question five, the last question. If you could beat any person, real or imaginary, who would it be and why? Answer, Alex Russo, a character on Wizards of Every Place. Why? Because she is cool and funny. If I could meet anybody in real life or imaginary, it would probably be Ariana Grande. I love her music. You know, she's the best. Well, that's all the questions. Bye. Do you like being creative? Are you an artist, animator, graphic designer, actor, writer, organizer, or video editor, or something else creative? Would you like to be a part of putting together our weekly program, The Main, or making segments or shows for The Main? If so, go right now and fill out the form. If you have already done it, you don't need to do it again. If you're not sure, it's better to be safe than sorry. The link is bit.ly slash media2122. Repeat, the link is bit.ly slash media2122. Good luck and hope to see you soon. Hello and welcome back to Random Weekly Survey. Let's look over this week's survey's results. This week's survey was favorite day. 150 people respond to this week's survey. The top two are Saturday at 38% and Friday at 42%. Next week's survey is favorite U.S. state. The link to the survey has been right here. That is all and have a good day. Digi Media Productions. Good morning, everyone. This is Mrs. Saldana with a very important reminder. The applications for ASB leadership class are due by Friday, March 5th at 9 p.m. to the Google Classroom that you received at your meeting. If you missed that code at the meeting, the code for the Google Classroom is 76RYYUS. Also due on Friday are your petitions for election. If you are running for election, your petition is also due Friday, March 5th at 9 p.m. If you filled out the petition for election, you will receive your interview time next week via email. Thanks.